Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Fink, Medical Director at the Miami Center of Excellence for Obstetrics and Gynecology. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've gotten the call. The call that says your pap smear is abnormal. Well, relax. In the next few minutes, I'm going to review with you what the abnormal pap smear means, what its significance is, and how we're going to treat this problem. It's one of the most common problems we face in gynecology, and you are not alone. And more importantly, you're not alone to be scared. So let's take a look. A pap smear is a screening test for precancers of the cervix. You do not have cancer in all probability, and you're not going to get cancer. However, we can find precancers on the cervix and treat them before they ever have a chance to become cancer. We've become so effective at this that the incidence of cervical cancer in the United States is in fact relatively rare. So if you think about a big ladder with cancer at the top of the ladder and normal at the bottom, there are some steps that lead up this ladder. At the top of the ladder, this step is called a high-grade change. We have a low-grade change, and we have a change that's called atypical. So when we called you with your results, we told you which of these steps you were on. An atypical pap smear means that it's not quite abnormal, but it's not quite normal either. In fact, the official name for this is atypical cells of undetermined significance. So when the pap smear is atypical, we run the test for the HPV virus. HPV is the human papilloma virus. It's a sexually transmitted virus that almost all of us will have at some point during our lives. In fact, they say that 85, uh, about 85% of us will have been exposed to HPV at some point during our lives. I call it the common cold of the vagina. HPV is with you, but in most people it does clear. It goes away. Its significance is that HPV is what causes precancers of the cervix and, in fact, cervical cancer. If the HPV test is negative with your atypical pap smear, the assumption is this is really probably a normal pap. But if the HPV test is positive, then the assumption is there's probably something going on in your cervix that we need to take a closer look at to see if we can find the area that caused your pap smear to be abnormal. And to do that, we do a procedure that's called a colposcopy. And in our next video, we'll take a look at colposcopy and I'll show you what that entails.